Hi, this is John Foley with Information Week, and I'm here with Carter George with Oak Arena Networks, a startup based in San Jose that has just come out with an appliance uh, for storage optimization. Uh, Carter, hi, welcome to Startup City. Tell us about your uh, storage optimization product and how it's different from other solutions that are out there. Well, most storage optimization has been focused either at data at rest, like backups, or data in motion, like moving data over the WAN. Ocarina is really focused at optimizing online storage. So where other people claim to shrink your backups or shrink your network bandwidth, we're actually shrinking data right there where it lives on your primary storage. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about the technology. It's an appliance. You also have readers and optimizers. Uh, explain the different components. Yeah, we have an appliance. It's called the optimizer, and that reads your files, shrinks them, and writes them back to disk. So it's a, basically think of it as a high performance shrinker. Um, now as you go through and it shrinks your files, usually to a tenth of the size that they started, uh, you're gonna need a way to get those back. And the reader is the software that we provide that uh, intercepts customer IOs and in real time expands the files back bit to bit to exactly the way they were in the first place. Oak Arena talks about uh, being file aware. Uh, what do you mean by that? Yeah, so most files that are driving storage growth today are already compressed. If you think of Microsoft Office, that's compressed, PDFs, videos, music, photos. And you can't use traditional compressors on files that are already compressed. So what we do is we read a file into the optimizer, and we have this three-step process we call the ecosystem, extract, correlate, optimize, where we recognize the type of the file, and then call different algorithms based on the file type. That might include decompressing the file, it might include routing it to a file type specific compressor uh, or a file specific dedupe engine so that we can get the maximum amount of space reduction possible. Ocarina talks ab uh, about some pretty dramatic results in terms of reducing uh, data stores and file sizes. Uh, just how far can you push that? Yeah, I think on a typical mix of files that you would see in an enterprise or a home share, uh, we'll get about 10 to 1 data reduction. Um, we also get really good data reduction on rich media files, which other people can't reduce at all. So whether that's videos or photos, uh, oil and gas data, life sciences data, you know, uh, x-rays, PET scans, CAT scans, all that sort of thing. Um, that might not be 10 to 1, but it's 3 to 1, 4 to 1, where other people are getting no reduction at all. You just gave a few uh, uh, examples of uh, how the appliance is used. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about the scenarios where uh, your product really excels? Well, the first batch of customers that deployed Ocarina were the big online photo sites. Um, these are people that have petabytes and petabytes of digital photos. You upload your photos, you have an album, you order prints and t-shirts, that sort of thing. And they just have unbelievable amounts of storage. Uh, it's the biggest part of their business cost. And uh, they've tried everything to try to shrink that down. Um, and Ocarina is really the first thing that was able to get substantial reduction on these petabytes of photo stores. So, um, at some places we're seeing as much as 70% uh, reduction of these online photo stores. So that was the first batch. Now we're seeing movie studios adopt us for their archives of intellectual property, the animation, the artists, the motion capture, all the things that go into making movies. Uh, we're seeing oil and gas and life sciences, which are also sort of media and image rich industries. We hear a lot about uh, storage as a service and storage in the cloud. Uh, is that a space that you play in? Well, we don't sell serv uh, storage as a service, but we certainly plan to sell to people who want to offer that in the cloud. Uh, that is primarily a cost-driven business model. So people are saying, here's how many free terabytes you get, here's how much you know, per month it costs to store you know, 100 terabytes or 200 terabytes. Clearly, if you're the service provider and you can cut your actual cost to provide that service by 90%, that's going to make you more competitive as a cloud storage provider. So that's a target for us. So uh, you, it's mid-2008, and you just came out with the appliance a couple months ago. 
Uh, what should we look for in the months ahead uh, during uh, the rest of the year? For this year, we're focusing primarily on vertical markets. We started with the photo sites, where I think we're installed now in four of the top six. Uh, social networks, where we're installed in three of the top four. Uh, oil and gas, where we're just starting to do our first installation. So this is the big seismic research shops. Um, genetics, that particular segment of life sciences. Uh, the big pharmaceuticals, that sort of thing. And at the end of the year, we'll add uh, engineering. Um, so people who are developing technical products. Uh, next year, you'll see us once we have, I think, uh, you know, a solid base of reference counts and people who say, yes, I've done this with my data, it works fine, I didn't lose anything. Then you'll see us broaden into the enterprise, uh, you know, which is, I think, a more conservative buyer. Okay. Uh, Carter with uh, Oak Arena Networks, uh, good luck uh, crunching those file sizes down, <laughs> and uh, thanks very much. Pleasure.